Bula Vinaka and good afternoon, members of the media. Thank you for taking this time to attend this important news conference. Um, the Fiji Meteorological Services has advised that the current weather adverse condition affecting the country is expected to persist over the Fiji group until the weekend. Since then, the Fiji NDMO team has been working closely with our colleagues at the Fiji Met to monitor the current situation. We have also been in regular contacts with our four divisional commissioners. And as of this morning, I can confirm that we have received reports of flash flooding in the northern and western division, as well as landslip along the King's Road. No evacuation centers have been opened as of yet. However, members of the public are encouraged to access the evacuation center list available on the NDMO website should the need be to evacuate um, earlier today or if not later on this afternoon. As advised by Director Matt, periods of rain that will be heavy at times will be expected to continue throughout Fiji. This is anticipated to ease from Sunday. Consequently, the risk of river flooding and flash flooding remains. Such risk is elevated during high tides, which will be at 4 p.m. today. With continuous rainfall recorded in the last couple of days, soil will be saturated and for the risk of landslide occurring remains. Strong and gusty winds anticipated over the land areas of Yasawa and Mamanuda Group, northern and western Viti Levu, from Rakiraki through Tumba, Lotoka, Nandi and Lomawai, Kandavu and nearby small islands, Lao and Lomai Viti Group. Strong winds with rough and to very rough seas is expected over Fiji waters. Coastal inundation alert has been issued for the coastal areas of Yasawa and Mamanuda Group, southwestern Viti Levu, Natandola to Coral Coast, southern coastals of Vatulele, Kandavu, and nearby small islands, Lao and Lomai Viti Group, southern parts of Vanua Levu, southern Bua and the Kaundrave province. The Fiji Met has also advised that as of this morning, most rivers have already reached or have above their warning level. Continuous heavy rain is expected to cause the rivers to burst their banks. And you can already see that uh, in the photos that have been circulating on social media. We can confirm that rivers that have already burst its banks are Rakiraki, Nasibi in Tavua, Ba and Vitongo. Any heavy downpour will be detrimental to these areas. Therefore, we would like to plead with the general public to prepare now and should the need to evacuate arise, please move while it is daylight and ensure that all movement is made with caution. Please remember that, that while we wait, um, while we want everyone to be safe during such times, the safety of first respondent is also paramount and important to us. In recent weeks, in recent weeks, we've also noted a rise in fatalities due to flooding. We therefore call on the general public to strictly adhere to warnings issued by authorities. Stay away and refrain from attempting to cross flooded rivers, streams, walkways, crossings, or drains for your own safety. The Fiji NDMO met with the police chief of operations this morning, and he has assured us that the police are on standby should the need for deployment arise. Additionally, police have also prepositioned key strategic assets to members of the public on the ground, or in this case, to assist the members of the public on the ground. Furthermore, we've also consulted with the Maritime Safety of Fiji, or MSEF, and we would like to remind mariners to heed advisories issued by authority as current sea conditions can be dangerous for small boats due to large waves and rough seas. Please refrain from swimming, fishing, or undertaking any recreational mari mar marine activity along coastal areas as hazards breaking waves are also expected, and therefore placing people's life at risk. Earlier this morning, the NDMO, following considerable consultations with the Fiji Met Office and through the advice of the, ministry, the minister responsible for, ministry for education and minister responsible for disaster management, Ministry of Education closed the school nationwide as a precautionary measure against the forecasted adverse weather. Now, I understand that there has been some black, uh, backlash from the general public about this decision. I therefore seek parents and guardians understanding that this decision was solely done for the safety of our children. The safety of all civil servants is also paramount. Of, is also paramount. 
Upon consultation with Acting Permanent Secretary for Civil Service, non-essential civil servants are encouraged to seek permission from their su supervisors for earlier release. This is to allow them to prepare for their families, communities, and properties for the impending adverse weather. Other employers are also urged to do the same. On behalf of government, we plead with the general public to take the necessary measures to ensure that the lives of individuals and families are prepared. Families and communities are urged to prepare emergency kits and put into practice their family and community disaster preparedness plan. Take the necessary steps to ensure that homes and properties are secured. Ensure that members of the vulnerable groups are also well catered for. And should the need for assistance, please reach out to the Fiji Police Force on 917 or call any of our Divisional Emergency Operations Centers that has now been activated. Commissioner Northland's EOC, 8811322 or 8811005. Commissioner Western's EOC, 6660760, Commissioner Central's EOC, 3477000, and Commissioner Eastern's EOC, 3313400. These numbers are also available on our social media platform.